If you guys watch my other episodes, you must know that I always build some crazy projects. For example, my axolotl island in the ocean, my mountain for the goats called Mount Goatmore, and my giant shoutout wall that took over three double chests of leaves. And to build some of these projects, I need to smelt a lot of materials. So in this episode, I built an insane automatic smelter. And not only it smells hundreds of blocks per minute, it also looks amazing. Welcome to episode 14, and I hope you guys enjoy this episode. Hey, my goats are looking quite happy in their new habitat. All right, this guy thinks he's the king. Yeah, get off. You don't belong on that. I do. <coughs> I tried to replicate what a goat would sound like, but that was kind of embarrassing. But to start off every single episode, I will have to get some food. Because you guys know me. I don't have to say it again. I am a hungry man. I weigh about 900 pounds and I need potatoes to eat. The only problem is I don't have anything to smelt with. Oh, I do have blaze rods. Never mind. I'm just a dirty liar. And let's smelt these bad boys up and let's go for a quick snack break. Even though the video just started, but I am hungry. All right, I am back, and this is taking a very long time. Every single episode, I got smelt using this peasant material, like smokers, ugh, furnaces. Ugh. I just can't wait for all this food. So I think in today's episode, I'll be building a huge automatic sorter somewhere. Sorter, what am I talking about? A huge automatic smelter somewhere. So every single episode, I can smelt up my food in lightning speed. But before I start on the auto smelter, I really need to do something about my house right here. It's looking like a mess. So I'm actually going to renovate this entire interior and make a brand new chest room. Because uh, as you can see, I'm sort of running out of room for everything. And everything isn't even organized. So I'll take a quick minute and fix this all up. Now that I moved all of my chests out the way, let's tear down this kitchen because, uh, let's be real, I haven't used it once. I don't even know why I didn't cook my food in here. It would have made a lot of sense if I did. And there we go. Get out the way, doggy. You guys are in the way. I need to make them a special dog house soon. And here it is. It looks a lot better and it's just a lot cleaner now. We don't have that stupid kitchen in the corner. Now I got to organize all of these items into the correct spot. Oh boy. And you can put like a 20 minutes later text. All right. Yeah, you guys, you made that like 40 minutes because that took me a very long time. All right, after 40 minutes, I am finally done organizing everything. Yeah, organizing items in Minecraft take a lot longer than you think. But there we go. Everything is organized and the house is looking a lot better now. And since we have this open area in the corner, I'm going to use all of my random colored wool and make a little carpet for my dogs. And obviously give them some leaves. I even have a separate leaf chest, which is uh, pretty empty. I'm going to have to work on that later. But let's bring these guys over here. Come on, buddies. You have a nice place to sit now. There we go. But now that this is is complete it's time to start working on an automatic smelter area and i'm thinking this area will be a great place to start there's a lot of open land and all i have to do is repurpose this big glass cage and replace it with an automatic smelter and i also want to build it into the ground i think it'll look pretty cool but let's see what i come up with but first things first let's destroy this cage it had some great memories of holding my 200 rarest axolotls in minecraft and even 100 goats in minecraft this glass cage has a lot of memories it even homed the first axolotl axolotls that i found in the beginning of this entire series so everybody say goodbye to the first glass cage let's tear it down All right, now I have to come up with a design for this auto smelter. I want it to be a circle and a hole in the ground or something fancy like that So let's make a little entrance right here Whoa, you guys hear that goat just scream dude scream again you guys hear that, right? This boy's screaming at the top of his lungs. Is that a rare goat? I've no idea. Let me know in the comments. All right, so let's start building a pathway into the auto smelter area. And my plan is to have a little hut right here. And there will be like three chests. One chest will be for the items I want to smell. Another chest will be for the fuel, like blaze rods or coal. And the other chest will be the smelted item. And all that will lead into a little underground area right around here. And that will be the auto smelter area. So let's see what I can come up with here. This will take a lot of planning. All 
I got the hut right here where I'll input and output all of the stuff. And then the hoppers will feed it into here, into this big hole that I made. It's basically a big Sparta hole. And the auto smelters will be down here. I could have easily made it above ground, but th that's just not fancy enough. It's not unique enough. Everything in this world needs to be like never seen before. So now I'm gonna start quickly carving out the walls right here to make it a little bit deeper to have some more space for the auto smelters. All right, I've completed the hole for the smelter, and I actually want to line it up with some stone blocks. And not just the regular stone blocks, the new ones, or whatever it is. So I'm going to smelt up all of these stone blocks and use it to line the bottom. Oh, uh, yes, they're called smooth stone. It's actually a very beautiful block, I'm not going to lie. It's very nice. But while I wait for this to smell, it's tradition to go on a snack break. I'll be right back. Go get some water, everybody. Hydrate yourself. And now let's fill up all of the walls underground with this smooth stone. And let's take a look at the very end to see how it looks. And there we go. It's fully lined up with smooth stone. I even made it two blocks deeper because I didn't think three blocks deep into the ground was deep enough, if that makes sense. But now that I have the area carved out, I can finally start working on the auto smelter. That took a pretty long time. Ow, ow, whoa, whoa, why do I have so much knock? Whoa, why does this guy have knockback? Jeez, that guy was hitting me hard. This is Sparta. Oh, okay. That was awkward. All right, here are the three chests that will lead into the auto smelter down here. But I'm going to need a lot of hoppers for this project, which means a lot of iron and a lot of chests. So let's head down into my mine and grab a bunch of iron. And I got four stacks of iron ore. And let's place this down so I can fortune three it. Ooh, how high can I go? How high can I? Oh, oh, oh. Should I try breezy bridging with my iron? It's been a long time since I tried. Ready? <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Oh, oh, oh. What was that, like six? Pretty good. Yeah, I think I could have done a better job placing all of this iron ore down. Draw some guesses in the comments how much iron you think I will get from mining all of these ores. The closest guess in the comments will get a heart from me. Drop your comments down quick. And I almost got nine stacks of raw iron. If you guys guessed this much, you guys are legendary. Hey, some of you guys better not have cheated. But now the only problem is smelting all this iron. If only I had an auto smelter. <laughs> Good thing I have some blast furnaces though, so this should be a little bit faster. But while this smelts, I'll go grab a quick snack. And you guys know what to do. Go get a water bottle and chug that. I'll be right back. And finally, it is all smelted. I think I lost a couple pieces of iron, though. I have no idea where it went. I swear I had eight full stacks. So I must have lost some in the process somehow. But now let's repair my axe. And let's go chop down some trees for some chests. And I think it's finally time to clean up all of this mess I've made in this world. Let's chop down all of these sticks. These poor trees. I sheared them naked of all of their leaves. I'll put you guys out of your misery. Why, why am I talking to trees like they're actually living? Well, I guess they technically are. Okay, I'm gonna shut up. And now I have enough materials to make an entire stack of hoppers. All right, so now I need to put some hoppers underneath these chests because these will be the inputs and this chest will be the output. So whatever smelts comes over here. And now I need to connect these hoppers all the way down to the hole. All right, here we are. We got a pathway mined up for the hoppers that leads into the Sparta hole. And this bottom layer of hoppers will be the output line. So whatever gets smelted will be carried out through these. Now I'll put some furnaces on the top, just like this. The layer of hoppers behind the furnaces will be the, the fuel source like coal or blaze rods and on top will be whatever i want to smelt like sand or stone now let's make a pathway for the mine carts and the mine carts will collect items from this chest right here so let's put a hopper right up here and make a line of hoppers that connects to the chest like that and it'll all come down over here and it'll feed into a mine cart that keeps going back and forth and you know what since i smelt so many things and i come up with huge projects i'm actually gonna make this a lot bigger so let's expand 
expand this out to four more furnaces on each side. There we go. That is more satisfying. You know what? Let's even add one more and connect them all up. Now I'm going to put a powered rail right here, a normal rail, a normal rail so it can make the turn, and then even more power rails all the way across. Actually, I should probably save some and put rails all the way to the end on top of these mine carts. And I'm going to do the same exact thing for this bottom layer of hoppers. I do need some more hoppers though, so let's make some more chests and use up all of my iron. And we have another stack of hoppers to use. I'm going to do the same thing over here, a powered rail, a normal rail, and line up this entire row of hoppers with rails. Let's also make a little breaker right here, add some more powered rails, add some more powered rail just like this, so then the mine carts can bounce back that way. Now again, let's put another hopper facing down to the rail and make a line connecting it to the chest. Bam, bam, bam. And I'm also going to hide some redstone torches inside these walls just to make it look prettier to power these powered rails. Put one there as well. And to power these two powered rails, I'm simply just going to use a lever down on this block and underneath this block and all it does is just blends in well with the stone brick and now these are powered and i'll also need to power these two powered rails and connect it to a lever up there so i can switch it on and turn on the entire system so i'm gonna leave a redstone torch right over here and i'm actually gonna put the lever right here and i'm just gonna add a simple line of redstone dust all the way down here until it connects over here to this redstone torch and when i flip the lever it should turn off the torch and now these powered rails are not turned on so whenever i want to turn on the system and smelt things all i gotta do is flip the lever all right i just realized i could put a lever right here and it will power both of these powered rails but now let's connect the output line a row of levers underneath these furnaces which will collect whatever is smelted let's bring it all the way to the edge and all the way over here just like that and now i'm gonna have to make a water ele and now i'm gonna have to make a water ele and now i'm gonna have to make a water ele and now i'm gonna have to make a oh my and now i'm gonna have to make it now I'm going to have to make an item elevator that brings the smelted items up there to the chest thingy. Yeah, that is the best explanation I can do for that. For a simple water elevator, all you need is one dropper, one redstone comparator, and one redstone repeater, some blocks, and some redstone dust. What you want to do is put the dropper down with a hopper feeding into it, put a comparator like that, make a shape like this with your blocks, put redstone dust there, there, a block here, a redstone repeater facing this way, and another redstone dust here. So whenever I put some items into the hoppers that leads into the dispenser or the dropper it will just simply shoot out like this super simple and for the water elevator all you need is a block like glass a water bucket and some kelp also one piece of soul sand which i'll go to the nether to quickly grab i just need one let's put the soul sand right at the bottom and some glass going all the way up to contain the water and the water will lead right into this hopper right here just like that let's drop some water down and fill up the entire column with kelp and now you have a water elevator so let's test it whatever block you put into this hopper will shoot up by this dropper and it'll be sent up the water elevator into these hoppers and i'll go right into this chest pretty simple let's now put down two mine carts with hoppers right here and give it a little test i think it should all be working now hopefully so let's flip this lever pop and the mine cart should be off its way there we go it went all the way to the end and it's coming right back it's kind of slow though so i'm going to add some more of these powered rails but once i put some fuel and something to smell it should be delivered Delivering it all to the furnaces. And to stop it, all I gotta do is flip the lever up, and they should stop right here. There we go. Perfect. And this one should stop here nice and let's just add more powered rails to make it a little bit faster and now it should be all working let's give it an actual test now let's grab a whole bunch of sand this will fill up an entire chest i think that will be good to start and some blaze rods actually let's cut that down a little bit let's do eight stacks because i don't have enough fuel and which one is my fuel chest again i don't remember all right this one is my fuel chest right here so let's put my blaze rods in here and let's load it up with some sand let's smelt all this up and it should be loading into these mine carts right here so yeah the blaze rods go into here which is the fuel source and the sand goes in here which is the thing i want to smelt and now let's wait until the mine carts are full but while we wait for that i'm actually gonna grind my blaze farm a little bit just to collect some more blaze rods and have enough fuel for all of the furnaces I have four stacks of blaze rods now, and let's fill it up in the fuel chest. Hopefully, I didn't mistake it. And now we wait for the minecarts to fill up with blocks. 
All right, both mine carts are completely full, and it's the moment of truth. Let's pray this works. This was a whole day in the making. Let's flip the lever. The mine cart should be going off. Ni oh, look at all light up. Nice. Okay, it's all lighting up except that one. I'm not sure why that one isn't working. Maybe because the lever stopping the hopper from uh moving the items. But it's looking like it's doing pretty well. That's good news. That's good news. But let's quickly move this lever here over here. That should be able to. Yeah, there we go. Now sand's going into this furnace. But it looks like everything's going in pretty evenly there's 13 sand 14 blaze rods 13 okay yeah everything's going in pretty evenly which is a good news let's head over here is this part working the item dropper okay i do see glass going all the way up so it's working oh yes it's going up there let's check the chest and we have glass up here two stacks already holy cow let's go now imagine next episode i'll put like 15 stacks of potatoes in here and i will literally never run out of food we have the most ultimate auto smelter now in minecraft let's go i was actually planning on making another row right here for smokers and another row right here for blast furnaces but it's just a little too much work with the sorters and all of these chests so i'm just gonna smell everything with furnaces i'm not sure what to do with this empty space over here though let me know in the comments what i should put over here in the empty space because there's still a lot of room down here and a couple minutes later we have almost five stacks of glass wow that is fast but while everything smelts so let's actually decorate this hut right here. All right, the house is fully decorated out with the leaves, obviously, and it's looking pretty good. Also, all the sand is done smelting now, so I can turn off the machine. Let's flip the lever here, and let's see. Yep, it is all stopped. And let's check the glass. Oh, yes. Not a single piece of glass missing. But now let's add somebody to the wall of leaves and shout them out. Let's head over to my Twitter at acookiehut.com. Make sure you uh, follow me because I only have 6,000 followers and I have over uh, a million subscribers. So I I'm kind of lacking over here. But let's go over to my latest tweet where I said I wish I could hire Wadzi to be my video editor. <laughs> because his edits are insane but let's pick a random comment and let's actually pick pizza he asked if i can put his name on the wall of leaves he loves my videos and i teach him how to build and entertain him and he always stays hydrated from my snack breaks thanks pizza so let's build all the way up i really need to get scaffolding i never found a jungle bomb yet to get some bamboo so i'm stuck with doing this all day just building dirt all the way up to the top of the sign let's make the quick comp <coughs> Oh, the quick a comma, an I, a Z, another Z, and an A. And now we finally have pizza on the wall of leaves. Speaking of pizza, I am pretty hungry. Pizza does sound pretty good right now. I haven't really ate lunch, and it's 7 p.m., so I need some dinner. <laughs> and there you are, pizza. Welcome to the wall of leaves. Thanks so much for commenting on my Twitter post, follow me, and watch my videos. This is an elite group of people right here. And I think lining up this entire circuit with some campfires, so smoke is like pouring out of here into the sky will really match with the theme of auto smelting so let's quickly do that i'm gonna need like over a stack of campfires though i made a giant automatic smelter and i'm still here using furnaces wow my life is kind of sad let's put these logs in here and some blaze rods so i can get some charcoal i think that's how you make charcoal and it is nice i think i'm gonna need some more so i'm gonna put some more logs in there and wait for all of it to smell but while i wait let's go for another snack break and i really need dinner so let's go grab some kfc mcdonald's and some pizza because you know I'm, I'm just the skinniest man alive only four thousand pounds i actually play minecraft on the floor a chair can't even support my weight i'm sitting on a concrete floor right now i have a crane to assist me up so i can walk to the kitchen or right, anyways i'll be back <laughs> entire bucket of kfc later i got my charcoal and let's make myself some campfires holy you need a lot of resources for this stuff all right 32 and 42 that used up like half of my wood where'd all my wood go oh i had some wood i'll just wake up in the morning and i'll get it back <laughs> anyways let's use these campfires and let's place one down over here let's see how far the smoke actually rises i'm hoping it will go above the stone and it disappears right at the stone nice i 
life is amazing. Well, that plan didn't work and I just wasted a campfire. Nice. But the smoke go through leaves, you think? It probably will. Let's try it. Let's break this and put a campfire down. Ooh, it does. Oh, it doesn't. That one smoke particle was just an outlier, but it does get trapped in leaves. That is the weirdest thing I've seen. Actually, could I still touch this campfire? Please tell me I can. Come on. It, it makes sense. Oh, you can. Nice. Well, with all these campfires, I think I'm just going to make a big fireplace furnace looking thing. So let's put some campfires like this and let's just make a fat furnace or something because my idea totally did not go to plan. So let's cover it up like that and let's make a fat chimney. So it kind of goes with the theme of the auto smelters just for some decoration. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not the best builder in the world. <laughs> but let's do that. Super simple. And let's check it out. Ooh, it doesn't look that bad. I'm going to be honest. It doesn't look that bad. Add some little stairs there. There, one over here and there is my amazing smelter actually i'm pr I'm pretty happy with that and let's put one on top of this house too let's put a cobblestone wall over here and i learned this building trick from my builder so take some notes guys well, let's make a tall chimney let's put a campfire on the top oh let's not burn to death here make a little thing like that and all you gotta do is put some trap doors on the edge of it to cover up the campfire bam and let's take a look at the bottom oh yeah now that is a chimney right there there we go i love the smoke <laughs> What? Oh, whoa, that boy came from the moon. Now I have 36 campfires left. Whoa, what? What on earth do I do with this? I do think the extra addition of smoke makes everything look a lot better, though. But the sun is setting. Well, the sun kind of is set. It's in, it's in the ocean right now. I didn't know the sun can swim. <laughs> I'm the most childish YouTuber ever. I love it. But I think there we have it. There's my insane auto smelter in Minecraft Hardcore. This will make my life a lot easier where I can smoke smoke. I but English. I can't speak English. Where I can smelt a whole bunch of food and blocks for my future huge projects. Because for some reason, I always embark on some crazy massive projects. Like this one, the Axolotl Island, the giant wall of leaves, this amazing bridge that leads me over here to the Goat Mountain. By the way, if you guys haven't seen that video yet, go check it out on my last episode where i built this massive goat habitat it looks like a dinosaur enclosure where they're just trapped in here with this beautiful goat head like this looks amazing look at this look at the tongue the eyes the horns and they look quite happy in there it looks so peaceful and colorful i wish i can be a goat that is my insane automatic smelter in my hardcore world thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys on the next episode coming out on friday i love you guys take care and i'll see you guys later